Hey everybody, this is Joby and today is the last day of the Merkmeyer event. So I thought I would just come in here and get my last strong box and see what I got. I'm looking for the Voroplasm pet. If not, so I've, let me see how many tickets and inventory currencies. So I have four event tickets. I'll get three more and that'll be seven. Hopefully in the box, I get the last piece of the Voroplasm and then I'll have seven and I'll just be ahead. So I'll be able to get the Spectral Ind Indric Berry right away. If not, I'll just buy it to complete it out. Um, I'm at the Black Rose Prison Way Shrine, and I heard the voices of the people. These are the people I'm talking about. It's either these guys, or it will be the other ones are the, uh, it's like cut purse, where the guy stole the purse or whatever. All you have to do is you go talk to this guy, and he'll tell you it. what's the problem. I can't do it. He I wants to learn. Without even knowing the basics. You can just... Say, Press that, see. the second choice, and it'll take care of it. The only way to score a point is to hit the ball. And then like he wrong. obviously knows how to play the game you now, and so that's done. The and then there'll be another the one. Ball. You can just, you when you see the people the here, sport. you can just go ahead and do it. Now You'll get the achievement be. for helping the villagers. Okay, so let's go ahead and yeah. go out and just kill some creature, and I'll get my strong box. Here we go. Now sometimes, when you kill them, the weird thing is, it won't give you the tickets. So let's see what happens. Yeah, see, I didn't get it. Just have to keep doing it. It's fun. Or something else. Oh, that's crazy. Let's keep going through here. There he is. Awamasu. He's a good old boy. Come on, Mr. Wamasu. There it is. We should get tickets from this. No. Let me see if I got tickets and it just didn't show up. Nope, not yet. That happens sometimes. It's happened to me several times. Had to kill two or three different monsters. And, and then it will register. I'll get a strong box and I'll get three tickets. Let's kill this dude. He looks like he needs to be killed. Let's see if I get him from the mud crab. Nope. Just Rubido. Oh, there's a lot of them. Oh, they're gonna gang up on me, huh? Well, I got something for ya. Still interesting. Here it is. There it is. Strong box, three tickets, and some other stuff. Let's see what was in there. Strong box. Voroplasm training trap. There it is. So that should be it. And then I can combine them. Inventory. So it was like the last day. And it gave me. Let's go to notifications. Voroplasm pet. Now see I have them all. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Combine them. And the Voroplasm has been added to non-combat pets. Let's take a look at that little bug, little booger. Is it in here? No, it is not. Hold on. Collections, non-combat pets. Where will he be? Probably at the bottom because V, if you're going by alphabetical order. Not that this game goes by alphabetical order very often. There we go. Put that on. And there he is, in all his, in all his jellular glory. And I know he'll stand up and do all kind of weird stuff. So I'll leave him on for a little while. I do like the long-winged bat pet, though, that we got for free, which I thought was pretty good. Now, since I have um, seven tickets, that's great. That's why I waited and didn't buy the last one, because... Now I have seven, and then I just need three, and then I'll be able to get the last berry in the next uh, event. And when I get that, I'll be able to have the, the Spectral Endric. Yeah, so let me know if you got the, um, the Voroplasm pet. Now here's the weird thing, though. If we look in collections and go to fragments, and then you look at the wooden grave stake memento, I have one. I guess I'll just keep them for next year. Just not worry about it. Which is fine. That's okay with me too. And while we're here, we're near the Black Rose Prison Way Shrine. 
Here's one of those fire rock um, deals, the, the books. You just go up here. Pull you up here. Don't try to jump. And then do this one. And there it is. It's happy plants. You can look at it. I've already got it, obviously. Okay, and you have a vine tongue sapling in a tiny pot, ready to install in your new home. Now what? Simple. Now you do everything in your power to make and keep your little plant happy. Well, that was totally useless information, wasn't it? Look at the voroplasms right there. It's hilarious. So anyway, that location is right here. Just kind of in this little creek area near Black Rose Prison. That's one of them. And what I was thinking is, let's go to a base game area and look at their achievement furniture and see what they have to show everybody how different everything is. So I will see you guys in an undisclosed location. Okay, so what I did is I just ported to Elden Root, which is the capital of Eldermere Dominion. It's inside the big tree in Groutwood. It's just Groutwood and then we're in the big tree. And they've got the holiday achievement furniture, which has all that stuff that I already showed you, you should be so you don't have to come to Mournhold to get all this stuff that's you know this very cool witch's head I have all that stuff and then this global achievement furniture is going to be the same okay you can see the final threat if you want to get that statue so Daggerfall is going to have the same thing so you guys don't need to go to you know if you're yellow you can just come here to your capital city and you can get the uh, global achievements if you want those any of those for your house so let's find another one let's find I know a place to go it won't be base game though let's go to Vardenfell okay so here I am in Vivic City and I'm in the St. Delane's Waste Works which are in here and inside it's about right here you just have to come inside and go upstairs and then look for this guy drops no glass let's see what he's got a little thing Oh, he has a lot of stuff. These are the same things. It's going to be like books, 36 lessons. And then this will be uh, an altar. Pretty big. You can kneel right there. Fence of totems. The Ashlander's throne, which of course you can sit on. Looks little, but that would be just a chair that you would sit on. A yurt. Now, see, I have all these because I've completed the all the questing done here in Vardenfell. Banners, some different banners. Morog Tong banner, a blessing stone, tiny little thing, and then you put the blessing stone in there. That's when you do the quest, and you have to go get the blessing stone to talk to Vivek and do the ritual. Brazier, got a big piece of glass there. Lots of that stuff. Now I need the Quama Minor achievement. And then the replica stone. See, I need different, different achievements to get some of the things that I still don't have. Statue of Vivek. That's pretty good. What does he do? Let's see. Turn it off. Yes. So if you're a fan of Vivek, this would be a great statue. It's a courtyard, so it's enormous. It's just a gigantic statue. The statue of Towering Ebony from the meteor here's a terrified statue i have two of those i don't even know where i put them though and then the statuette of clavicus vile he's the diedrich prince it's a whole quest about him in somerset and here also in um, in gardenfell tapestry of morag tong saint beloth see they've got lots and lots of stuff here Raised, and we can put it back down so this can go up and down. Totem. Some of the stuff I wanted to get was something in Ellsware, where the was the bells, which I thought were really cool. That's pretty neat. But you need these. My warden has this for sure. I was I went crazy for a while on my warden. It was a Stam warden. I haven't played him in so long. I wonder if you can close that. Doubt it. But that's pretty, pretty interesting. So, you know, just everywhere you go, pretty much, there's going to be uh, these achievement furnitures, especially in 
the DLC portion or the expansion portion of the game. Elsewhere has some really, really, really good stuff, like dragons and all kind of stuff. This again is the global achievement furniture, and this is just a home goods furniture. If you talk to him, we'll have her, sorry, we'll have um, you know the block and boulders, different things from around Bardenfell. So you could just pick some area that you like, and then go to the capital city, and you'll be able to buy these types of items. If you like mushrooms, this is a great place. Volcanic rock. Just all different kind of stuff. Trees. I just make them now because I have all the uh, plants, the furniture plants to make them. So usually I just make the stuff and then instead of buying it. Because it gets pretty expensive after a while. Well, I just wanted to mostly close up Merkmire and wanted to give you guys a couple of views of different items that you can buy for furnishing. So give me a like and a subscribe if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you want to see. What do you like? What's going on? And I'll make a video about it if I can help you. Or if we can just make a video. Let's do it. So until that time.